how Tina Turner's performance at Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome is still important. The ultimate survivor was Tina Turner. Turner regained respect and success by overcoming challenges and refusing to dwell on the past. Much like Auntie Entity, the exotic and haughty monarch that Turner so eloquently portrayed in Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome, Turner consequently made a comeback, much like Auntie Entity did, and Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome captures Turner at a time when he was in the midst of one of the biggest comebacks in show business history. Turner has never been in another movie, thus his performance in Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome is both enticing and thrilling. Why, following Mad Max, Beyond Thunderdome, didn't Turner embark on other acting roles? What was the maximum extent of her acting potential? Turner, who was 43 at the time, was experiencing a protracted slump in her career at the beginning of 1983. Turner had been reduced to performing in hotel ballrooms and cabaret rooms across the country with her previous husband Ike Turner, who was then better renowned for their musical combo Ike and Turner. With no record deal after the commercial failure of her 1979 album Love Explosion, Turner was unable to produce another studio album until her cover of the Al Green song Let's Stay Together reached the top 30 in the U.S. in November 1983. Naturally, the following album was Private Dancer, which was released in May 1984 and ultimately sold more than 10 million copies worldwide while also earning Turner three Grammy Awards. Turner was the only actress George Miller was interested in for the character of Auntie Entity since Miller and Terry Hayes, the co-writer of Mad Max, Beyond Thunderdome, had built a relationship before the publication of the record. Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome begins with the sound of Tina Turner singing one of the living over the opening credits rather than Mel Gibson's Max, the movie's titular hero. Despite the film's innovative technical credits, Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome did not receive any significant cinematic accolades. However, Turner's song One of the Living earned her her fourth Grammy Award in the previous two years and her fifth Grammy Award overall. Turner's debut performance in Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome is unquestionably noteworthy. Turner portrays Auntie Entity, who stands in stark contrast to Max's signature leathery aesthetic thanks to her glossy, oversized platinum blonde wig, showy chain mail attire, and huge shoulder pads. Bartertown, a mine-turned trading station firmly rooted inside the post-apocalyptic region of Australia known as the Wasteland, is ruled over by Auntie Entity. When it comes to keeping control of Bartertown and advancing her overarching goal of restoring the post-apocalyptic landscape to at least a semblance of its former glory, Auntie, who built Bartertown out of old world scraps, is intelligent and reasoned. Max, who arrives in Bartertown after losing his priceless automobile, immediately wins Auntie over. After Max reaches Auntie's lofty rooftop palace, Auntie offers to restock Max in exchange for killing Blaster, Master's dim-witted bodyguard who runs Bartertown's ramshackle refinery. Master is a wily dwarf. Andy saves Max shortly before they part ways, despite the fact that Max fails to complete this duty and ultimately leads to the downfall of Bartertown. Steven Spielberg contacted Tina Turner with the purpose of casting Turner in his future picture The Color Purple just about the time that Turner agreed to play Auntie Entity in Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome, which started filming in Australia in September 1984 and was released in July 1985. The Color Purple, which started filming in June 1985 and was released in December 1985, is a film adaptation of the same titled book by Alice Walker that chronicles the tale of a group of African-American women in rural Georgia in the early 20th century. Shug Avery, better known as Queen Honeybee, is a stunning but promiscuous blues singer who is viewed as a morally dubious lady by the other characters in Spielberg's film. Spielberg wanted Turner to play the lead part. Even though Spielberg's interest in Turner made her feel flattered, Turner ultimately declined the part because it was too similar to her own life, particularly her turbulent marriage to Ike Turner, whom Tina Turner wed in 1962 and divorced in 1978. Margaret Avery was cast in the place of Shug Avery, and for her work, she was nominated for a Best Supporting Actress Award.